The chicken egg is one of the most remarkable foods that we have access to in the kitchen. Typically when we think about cooking an egg, we think about taking the liquid components inside the shell and turning them solid through the application of heat. That works because when we apply heat to the liquids inside an eggshell, we cause the proteins in that liquid to unfold and rebond with each other, forming these solid masses, relatively firm masses, of proteins that come out of the liquid and form what we call curds. That's the essence of making scrambled eggs. There's another way to turn an egg from what is essentially a liquid into a more solid-like substance, and that's through the application of mechanical force. So I want to demonstrate that here using an electric mixer as the source of mechanical energy. The best way to do this is to use not the entire egg, but only the egg white. So when we crack open an egg, we find two parts, right? We have the yellowish part, which is the yolk, and then we have the relatively clear liquid that surrounds the yolk that's known as the white. So here I have the whites from two eggs in this, in this um, bowl here and it's just gonna fish out a little piece of shell here before we get started. Okay, there we go. And to make our relatively solid eggs a little more stable, I'm gonna add a little bit of cream of tartar. And what this does is it just helps the network of proteins that's going to form stay a little bit more stable over time. So what we're going to do is apply mechanical force to this and create what's called an egg foam. So what exactly is an egg foam? Well, as we apply the force, we're going to be injecting air into the egg white, and that's going to create little tiny bubbles. We're also going to cause the proteins to unfold. And as both of these things happen, the proteins form a solid network of relatively rigid, relatively hard bubbles around those air pockets. And so we're going to see the volume of the white increase and the white kind of bubble up into this beautiful, luscious, and delicious foam. So let's start things off a little bit slowly to incorporate that cream of tartar. And let's ramp up the force a little bit here. You can already see that we're injecting some bubbles into this as the mixer applies mechanical force to the proteins in the egg white. I'm gonna keep going, keep going, ramp up the speed a little bit more. And we're getting more and more volume in there as we're packing air into the spaces between the proteins and the egg white. So this is going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing in volume until we get a really luscious, really nice egg foam that's full of air. And this feels really good in the mouth, right? So we get the awesome egg flavor in addition to a great mouth feel. And so you see egg foam showing up in a lot of desserts and kind of specialty goods. And there are different stages of egg foams depending on the material properties of the foam. So right now it's pretty loose. Right now it's pretty loose and pretty liquidy still. So if we, if we stop the mixer and kind of pull off a little bit, you can see it's, it looks almost like a liquid, right? It's a little bit solid, it's a little bit clingy, but it's still mostly in the liquid state. As I keep applying more force, this is going to get more and more solid. What's happening is we're locking air into this network, and we're making the network more and more rigid as we continue to beat the eggs. And eventually we'll notice this is it's setting up like pudding, right? It's setting up like pudding or jello. We're converting a liquid into a solid. So now we've reached a relatively kind of luscious state in the foam. You'll notice that if I kind of run the beaters along the edge, we form these little peaks, and these peaks are holding their shape. And this is a state of beating the egg foam called stiff peaks, and this is really what you want to see. So what we've done, again, is we've unraveled those proteins, and as the proteins rebond with one another, they form this network. The network entraps air, and you can see if you look really closely in here, little tiny bubbles within the egg foam. So there's a lot of air within this, which gives it this really great texture 
in the mouth. It makes it awesome for us to eat.